This is what antinatalists truly believe. Babies? Oh, gross! Blech. Having kids is a very bad deal for most women. 500 upvotes on this one. As an autistic person, oh, you don't say. All males should get vasectomies. This bitch can barely type. Okay, today we're exploring one of the worst subreddits that exists, r slash antinatalism. Give it up. Woo! Here's one. Human lives aren't worth a thing because there's far too many of us. As a reminder, more humans exist than cattle, sheep, and pigs combined. No one cares if it... Frankly, I'm going to need some sources on that. I don't trust these fucking antinatalists as far as I can throw them. No one cares if the average person dies. No one cares if the average person dies. This is the Reddit mentality. This is what it does to your brain. No one cares if the average person dies. Okay, let's read on. Despite human trafficking being illegal, modern society treats people like commodities that can be traded at a price or disposed of and written off if they prove to be no longer useful. Well, that's true. No argument here. It's time to stop having children. Stop pretending all lives matter because they don't. I really, Jesus Christ, this belongs in r slash collapse or, I mean, this is dark. I really hate seeing dozens, if not hundreds of graduates going after the same job that won't even pay the bills. So human lives aren't worth a thing. Let's keep going. Okay, here's a good one. Almost all males should get vasectomies. The vasectomy is much cheaper and doesn't even need a band-aid in most cases. There just isn't an excuse not to get one. Women have had the burden of birth control too long. Males are the ones creating children through their willful actions. Sperm doesn't just instantly appear next to an egg. Okay, it's funny how in her would-be feminist screed, she's actually vacating any and all agency a woman has in the act of creating a child. But okay. It's a choice they make. They need to be the ones responsible for being sterilized. Accountability is kryptonite. Are you f***ing? We are the ray of hope. Almost a thousand upvotes. Say, why don't you have kids? My hatred for this world is stronger than my desire to reproduce. The ray of hope. Ah, yes, the ray of hope that's seething with hatred for the world. This is quite literally the opposite of hope. Not only do we not consent to being born, life is full of conditions we cannot opt out of. A lack of consent doesn't just stop at being born. Life is full of conditions that we did not consent to and cannot change. Some of those include your sexuality. I would never in a million years choose to be a straight woman. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> never in a million years. The worst thing you could possibly be, a straight woman. It would be terrible odds if you even had one in a thousand chance of being a straight woman. It would still be difficult to be completely happy as someone who is straight and not aromantic. Okay, well, I agree there. Being aromantic is living the dream, baby. Even women as a class came to their senses and opted for separatism. Not sure what she means by that. It would still be difficult to be completely happy. Why the f*** do you think you get to be completely happy? Is that what you expect out of life? You want to be completely happy. All right. It would still be difficult to be completely happy as someone who is straight and not aromantic. Who the f*** gets to be completely happy? The entitlement. The sheer entitlement. Completely happy. Get the f*** out of here. We can't opt out of our drive to socialize, even if people are hostile and dangerous. As an autistic person, oh, you don't say. Research has shown that most people will instinctively hate me from first glance. <laughs> hate me from first glance. Now, I have no doubt that this is based on something. I have no doubt that this is a gross mischaracterization of some study that does exist. But what this person has done, like a lot of these f***ing Reddit doomers, is latched on to something that sounds negative and wildly exaggerate it and proceed to circle jerk in posts like this. Here we go. I can't opt out of my maternal urge to be a mother from her own mouth. I'm not saying that I will have children. I'm saying that I'll forever have to cope with not having one of the most fundamentally important things to me because I won't subject a child to this world. Every fiber of her being is telling her Antinatalism is wrong. And she won't listen. Straight from the horse's mouth. Birth control is ancient. 
blah, blah, blah. The Romans famously drove an abortifacient herb to extinction by overusing it. Talking about that fabled Roman abortion herb. They still have a small preserved sample of the herb you mentioned, kept in the vaults of the Vatican. Or whatever. And won't let anyone near it because it is the only form of birth control that is 100% effective. And they need people to keep reproducing. They should release it to the science community so they can regrow it again. Okay, here we go with the Vatican natalist conspiracy theories. Oh, wow. Source? I don't remember. I really wish men weren't so egotistical and fragile on the whole. They're so unintentionally abusive because of their enormous mental and emotional blind spots. While being ten times more afraid of not being well received being a bad person. And you can't even hate them because you see how much it must suck and be frustrating and scary to beat them. Okay, that's actually... You know what? I want to take a lot of my condescending tone back. Maybe not all of it. But it uh, seems like it might be getting sympathetic toward men. Let's see how it pans out here. You just want to help, but it feels so impossible. Because it's like they never did any of the childhood learning that you did. Sometimes I just want to make them all do LSD or DMT. Okay, well, I'm on board. That's it. Sold! So they can experience ego death and get out of their own heads. Finally, a plan of action. 